RBS Business Research Academy welcomes to you in the entire a new series of the lectures uh, on the from submission to the publication in Scopus Journal. Uh, so here I have provided different checklists uh, for the contribut contributing authors. So whenever you are going to submit your research paper in any Scopus Index Journal or any other journal, so some of the guidelines or checklists are available uh, in the uh, in, in the different videos of the, this video series. Uh, which covers normally like the pre-submission, like the title uh, of the study. That means uh, when you are writing the title of the study, what should be included in the title of the study, what should be included in the abstract, what should be included in the in introduction, literature, review, hypothesis, methodology, uh, result findings, discussion, and the list of the responses. So that means uh, whenever you are writing uh, these type of the sections, so normally what type of the checklist are there, which you must uh, fulfill you must check before submitting your research manuscript uh, uh, in any journal. So in this way, I hope that we say your chances of getting your paper accepted by the any research journal will be increased. Apart from this one, uh, there is also another checklist to avoid the taste rejection. So now uh, all these uh, different types of sections uh, like the, of the any research paper I have discussed in the different videos. So from this point of view, this series is a wonderful series. I uh, and uh, in the first video, uh, so I, I have discussed about the pre-submission. That means what type of the checklist are there which you should fulfill uh, before the submission formally in any research journal. So let us start the first video of the series. Uh, right now. But before this one, my name is Dr. Rahim Rav Sumro and I am working as a professor Shabati University, Pakistan. So a few days back, uh, uh, I have gone through this wonderful paper. Uh, its title is about the developing the doctoral student research understanding of the general peer review process. So it's a wonderful paper, paper and uh, so now whatever the slides which uh, like the lectures which I have prepared, so mainly I have, get, I have, I have got the help from this uh, research paper and uh, this research paper is freely available uh, on the internet just copy the title of this uh, like the wonderful research paper and put into the uh, google search it and then easily you will get the its copy otherwise i have left a uh, one link to download uh, this uh, like the research paper below this video so now the checklist for the contributing authors. So whenever you are going to uh, submit your research paper, so what are the different checklists are there in this regard? So the first one is about the uh, pre-submission. So now he, here are some important things are which you must keep in your mind when you are going to submit your research paper in any journal. These are very important uh, like the uh, guidelines are there which you should keep in your mind. And then uh, others are like that. These are the others manuscript design and the layout, which includes the title of the study, abstract and introduction, literature review, hypothesis, research methodology, uh, research finding, discussion. And these are the checklist of the. These are different type of the step which you take, you, which you should keep in your mind whenever you are writing either abstract introduction or any section of your research paper. So these are very important things which you should keep in your mind. So here the pre-submission. So the first you have to check that the, that the did you check the target journal's purpose and the scope? Uh, uh, if yes, that's wonderful. And then you see that either your title or your research manuscript is matching with these, uh, with the purpose and the scope of the journal which you are considering for the uh, public uh, visa where you want to submit your research paper over there. The next thing is that if you're unsure that it's better to send email to the editor and get it verified either you can submit your this research paper over there or not. Or normally these uh, editors may guide you uh, or may provide you the alternative uh, research journal if your research paper is not suitable or uh, is not co uh, covering uh, coming under the purpose and the scope of the research journal. Another thing is that you have to check, uh, you take care about the uh, format uh, manuscript according to the target journal requirements. So now the requirement includes citation style, uh, list of the references, journal uh, manuscript layout, and the list of the tables and the figures. Another check is that the plagiarism and the similarity because it's a very important. 
if your research paper is uh, like the uh, like the simple plagiarize or if the similarity index is more than 19 percent so now there is a problem with your paper so now the most most probably the paper will be unsubmitted or the paper will be rejected or the paper will be returned to you without uh, putting it to the into the uh, uh, mr in the other steps are uh, in the in the end of the process so it is better and then has you uh, 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 manuscript has been edited by the general language editor or not and the last have you prepared a cover letter or not so now uh, generally if you have the mr taken care of all these steps so now in this way basically you have increased the chances of your acceptance of your research paper in any good journal the first check so now did you check the general purpose in the scope and uh, or do you think are you sure your title of your main is main script is coming or matching are coming under the scope of the uh, uh, their general or uh, under the purpose of their gender so now for example now these are some of the guidelines uh, uh, examples are there so now one by one i am opening the link in order to tell you where you can find the general's purpose and the scope so here the first journal is from the same say journal the name of this journal is the journal of entrepreneurship so here you're looking there's a aims and objective aims and the scope of this one so now different areas are there for example interpretation theories entrepreneurial behavior uh, like and other disciplinary boundaries are there the uh, like the theory and then eco economics psychology sociology anthropology so many it is a very vast scope so now you have to make it sure that the title of your research paper is coming under the scope or aims of this journal or not then another journal is there is about the asia pacific journal of entrepreneurship so here you are looking the overview in the overview you will find the aims and objectives so now aims and scope are there so now this is a uh, detail about the aims and objectives. So now some of the subjects which are uh, available here, that means if your title or a paper is connected with the basic ethics, with incubation, then all these, then the chances are there that the people will, that means that the, your paper may be accepted by the uh, editor of the journal for the further process. Second check. In the second check, we have to take care about the general requirement, like the citation style, list of references journal manuscript layout in the list of tables and figures so that's also very important and uh, uh, among the other reason this may be a reason they miss it because of this one your paper may be rejected or may be unsubmitted or may be returned back to you because you have not followed all the guidelines of the format according to which you have to prepare your document so now different uh, uh, publisher they have the different type of the uh, format requirements so let's see some of the examples so here the first channel is from Sprinter that is about the International Entrepreneurship and Management Journal. So now these are some of the guidelines are there. So these are the format guidelines. According to these guidelines, you have to prepare your uh, document before submitting it formally uh, in any uh, research journal of uh, the Springer. So it includes like the manuscript sub, sub, uh, I mean, submission, online submission, and then the how to write a title page. Okay. Title should be concise, informative, author's information, how you can provide author's information, and uh, then abstract, how you can write down the total uh, minimum and maximum numbers are the 150 to 250 words in, in between this should be. And uh, then the keywords should be from 4 to 6, a statement of declaration you have to provide, and then how to uh, we said, uh, formatting text text so now in this way different data 10 points time roman for the text so the different guidelines are there regarding the hiding regarding the footnote regarding the acknowledgement and then how to cite in any work in the in the uh, like the manuscript and how to uh, write the reference at the end of your manuscript this is another general uh, this was the asia pacific general of innovation and entrepreneurship so here you have to check author's guideline so now there is a complete list of the uh, the guidelines are there author's responsibilities are there and then we are going down okay here many script requirements so whenever you are writing a manuscript now what are requirements are like the format so format should be that manuscript should be developed in the word format or in the pdf or latex and then 
article length. The total length of article should not be more than the 7,000 words, which includes everything, including the figures, appendices, and then the references, all these things. Educa title, how to write a title, author's details are there, biography, acknowledgements are there, research fundings are there, structure abstract, which includes the purpose, design, methodology, finding, and originality. And these are the subsections. Are, if these are available, you can also provide detail about all these ones. The total uh, abstract should not be more than the 250 words. Keywords, article classification, and the headings, how to write headings, figures. Okay, so now the figures may be produced in the EPS, JPG, BMP, and the TIFF format. Tables are there, supplementary files are there, and references are in text. So now, Embrault follows the Harvard referencing style. So this is an in-text citation, and then these are the references, either means, means from the journal, from the any conference, from the book, from the book chapter. So now you have to develop your manuscript according to the format of the journal where you want to submit your research paper. The third thing is very important. There's about the manuscript uh, edited by the any professional language editor. That's very important that you should consider that uh, you should but uh, uh, teach the much importance to, uh, with this uh, third check because that's very important. So what are the different type of the language editors services are available? So few services which I want to show you here. So these are links which are given here. So now this is the one type of language editing services from the elsewhere. So now you're looking at standard, express, and plus. So the number of days, working uh, business day they are taking, and the, the price are also mentioned in the in terms of the dollars. And then the what they're offering the services and the different type of the packages are there. Accordingly, you can choose any package, and then you have to upload your document over here. And then another one is about Springer. They are also providing the uh, Spring Nature English language editing services. So here you can also get the service, these lang English language editing services from here. So you're looking here. These, this option is available here. And from the Sage, so now they're also offering the English language editing services, Prism check services, and then video website and different type of service they are also providing. But for every some of the, uh, for every service, you have to pay according to the work which you are getting from the these language editors. A uh, fourth thing which is very important is about the uh, cover letter. How to write a cover letter? So that's very important because it's a very important document which basically encourages the chief editor to, to put the attention on your research paper or where you are explaining or justifying that the, why your paper should be accepted in any research journal. So for this purpose, the link is given over here, but here you're looking that uh, there's a, this is a sample cover letter. So this is level cover letter I have uh, downloaded from this link. And then which what includes date and uh, editor name and the title of the article and the name of the journal. And basically here, the specific reference journal, I am just going, and here in this section paragraph, basically you are the Mr. Justifying the reason that the why your paper should be accepted and should be published in any particular journal. And this is the real example. Even one of my friends who wrote this, uh, uh, like the uh, covering letter, uh, when he wanted to submit his, his research paper with the title of the mobile money as a driver in the digital financial inclusion. So here, basically, this is the these two paragraphs are there where. The, the authors of this, they have encouraged the editor to publish their research paper. And uh, the last one that was about the, uh, like this one, uh, about similar index check. So for the similar index check, check uh, there are different softwares are there, like the very popular software is about the uh, uh, turn it in. So then you can check, uh, check the, uh, uh, then you can upload your document and run it in and then check the similar index of your and its ratio or the index should be less than 19 percent in case uh, it should be at least less than the 15 percent in any case lower the similarity index that's a much better okay so different softwares are there authenticate in another software viper is another software and and even the grammar is also providing the uh, please check in its software. Okay, so different softwares are there where you can get your 
uh, similar index check over there. But so now before submitting, now these steps are very important, and I uh, and this step will enhance the chances of getting your paper, research paper uh, accepted in any such journal. So thank you very much for watching uh, my this video till the end. So if you like this video, then please subscribe my channel, share the, this video to the rest of the people. Thank you very much. <music>